Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Students, so welcome to the channel. So today in this video, we are going to cover some questions which is very important for your GPAT exam. So here we have a first question is that the principal D line of sodium is and the options are option A is 589 nanometer, option B is 767 nanometer, option C is 671 nanometer or option D is 652 nanometer. So which is the correct answer? The correct answer is that is the principal D line of sodium is 589 nanometer. Let's discuss with the help of explanation that the Grotar train diagram for doublet states of neutral sodium showing permitted transitions and including sodium D line transition at 589 nanometer, which is the correct answer. Now, moving on the next question, that choose the correct match. In this, there is an alkaloid given and in group second, there is a ring system means which alkaloid denotes which ring system. So we have to tell about there are uh, four options. So which one is correct? So according to the answer, the correct answer is C means ergot derived from the indole ring system, papaverine derived from the isocunulin system uh, and pilocarpin derived from the imidazole system and reserpine is derived from the yohibine. So this is the correct answer students. Please write down in your uh, notebook. Now moving on the next and third question of the video that inhibition of 5 lipoxygenase is useful and options are in cardiac failure, in bronchial asthma, in a hepatic failure or in arthritis. So inhibition of 5 lipoxygenase is useful in the correct answer is bronchial asthma. Let's discuss with the help of explanation that leukotrienes are potent bronchial cross, uh, constricting agents and these agents plays an important role in the pathogenesis of bronchial asthma. So the drug acting on uh, by inhibiting their synthesis that is lipoxygenase inhibitors or action that is cis LT receptors antagonist means leukotriene antagonist are useful in the prophylaxis of bronchial asthma hence B is the correct answer. Now moving on the next question that total ash value in case of crude drugs signifies the organic content of the drug, mineral matter in the drug, addition of entrenous matter such as sand and stone or body matter present in the drug so which are the uh, these are the option so which is the correct answer the correct answer is that is q and r that it signify, uh, signifies a mineral matter in the drug and the addition of internous matter such as sand and stone now moving on the next question that pick the wrong statement about greasyfulvin we have to tell about the wrong statement about the greasyfilvin. Uh, that is, it is not against, it is not against to candida. It interferes with mitosis. It can cause intolerance to alcohol or it is the first orally effective broad spectrum antifungal drug. So which statement is incorrect one? So the incorrect one is, that is S means it is, the it is not the first orally effective broad spectrum antifungal drug so it is the incorrect one means students these are the correct one now let's discuss with the help of exam uh, explanation that greasyfilvin is not the only first orally effective antifungal agent and it is not a broad spectrum antifungal agent so means option b that is s is correct answer now next question is that the cell wall consists of and the options are option A is lignin, hemicellulose, pectin and lipid. Option B is lignin, hemicellulose, pectin and cellulose. 
ऑप्शन सी इज लिग्निन हेमीसेलुलोज प्रोटीन एंड लिपिड ऑप्शन डी इज हेमी सेलुलोज सेलुलोज ट्यूबिलिन एंड लिग्निन सो विच इज द करेक्ट आंसर स्टूडेंट दिस इज वेरी कॉमन क्वेश्चन सो इट कंटेन्स दैट इज लिग्निन हेमी सेलुलोज पैक्टिन एंड सेलुलोज now let's discuss with the help of exp uh, explanation that cellulose pectin hemicellulose and lignin are referred as fibers and the these are found in the cell walls of plants and fiber provides the nutrition because it helps in passing the waste through the intestine and keep the digestive tract healthy and working where the cellulose are the most abundant biopolymers made of linear chains that is beta 14 linked d glucose as a major structural component of the cell wall and cellulose is important for plant growth and development cellulose microfibrils are tethered by other cell wall polysaccharides such as hemocellulose pectin and lignin let's discuss with the help of structure here we have a structure that in you this there is cellulose pectin and hemicellulose and lignin can be polymerized the species among these polymers so this is the primary plant cell wall structure now moving on the next question that sulfone syndrome develops after dapsone treatment and the options uh, are these so which one is correct the correct one is PQS means sulfone syndrome develops after dapsone uh, treatment that in includes lymph node enlargement generally seen in malnourished patients and develops after 4 to 6 weeks of dapsone treatment and here we have just some information about the dapsone the dapsone of sulfone syndrome is characterized by the sudden onset of papular or explorative rash accompanied by fever malaise and weakness followed by jaundice and tired tenderness of liver and lymph adenopathy and mononucleosis and it is not related with the nerve involvement so option d is the correct answer now the next question is that streptomyces mediterrani is the source of which drug so we have to tell about option a is streptomycin option b is rifampicin option c is ethionamide option d is ciprofloxacin don't get confused students with the name so the correct answer is according to this that is rifampicin i know that you are thinking about the streptomycin because it the name is resem uh, resembles so don't get confused that rifampicin is uh, rifampicin is having the source of streptomycin mediterranean let's discuss with the help of explanation that streptomycin derived from the actinobacterium streptomyces gracilis where it is derived from the streptomyces mediterrani and ethionamide is an antitubular aid drug synthesized from the interaction of 2 ethyl isonicotinoid nitrile and s2s in the presence of triethanolamine and ciprofloxacin is a second generation fluoroquinone antibiotic and it is a synthetic compound so i hope you student that uh, your confusion is uh, clear now next question is colchicin we have to tell about the colchicin properties that it contains tropolin ring structure it contains tropane ring structure it is used in gout it is used in psychosis so which one is correct here we have options that option a p q or option b that is p and r option c that is q and r option d that is p and s so which one is correct so the correct answer is that is p and r means it contains tropolone ring structure and it is used in gout here we have just explanation on this student that tropolene is a derivative of tropane with hydroxyl group in the second position and tropolone is a seven membered monocyclic ring and colchicin contains tropolin ring structure and used in the treatment of gout and where tropane is a nitrogenous bicyclic organic compound example of tropane is containing alkaloids such as atropine and cocaine 
means option B is the correct answer students. So next question and last question of this video students. Criteria for purity of Isaf Gula a husk is the options are that is swelling factor, size and appearance of husk, red and pink coloration with rudenium red or uh, S1 is presence of helium. So which one is correct? So the correct answer is that is option D, the P and R means uh, that is criteria for purity of isopgula husk is swelling factor and the red pink coloration with ruthenium red. So students, it's, this is all about this video. Thanks for watching.